Hello and welcome to another video tutorial here on allaboutbodylanguage.com. Now in this segment we're going to be talking about how to increase your chances of getting a tip if you're a waiter or a waitress working in a restaurant. Now one great way to increase the chances of a tip is to use the slight body language uh, touches on your uh, customers or clientele. Now the great way to do this is uh, to employ the shoulder touch whenever you're passing your customers. So if you approach them and say, how are you getting on with the meal? Is everything okay? Just use a slight shoulder touch on one of the patrons. Now this is a great way of creating a personal bond between yourselves and your customers. And it's something that they will remember without you invading their personal space. Uh, and this is a great way of, of developing silent rapport between the two of you. Now then, if your customers have small children, another great way of, of um, leaving a good lasting impression is to use a body lowering status on their children, meaning that you will crouch down or kneel down and engage them in the conversation, asking if they enjoyed the meal or maybe have some kind of reward for them, like a little coloring in book or maybe some sweets. And these are good lasting impressions that people remember. And it also creates a very good bond between the two of you, which is often something that you don't really get with restaurants. Because when you go to a restaurant, you generally go in and you eat and you go home. But if you can create a personal bond, a very slight one, people will remember this and then want to go back to the restaurant for that level of service. And then with the UK and many other countries being in recession, employers will need this kind of body language behavior analysis on their staff so they can encourage people to come back and become repeat customers. But again, we're using these slight body language touches are a great way of developing silent rapport without uh, invading their personal space and making them feel uncomfortable. So a great way to do this, as we mentioned, is touching around about the shoulder area. So that is a great way of trying to ascertain a better or a slightly greater increase your chances of getting your tip towards the end of the meal. So there you go. So, so for more information about body language, please check out allaboutbodylanguage.com and make sure you check out these other how-to series as well. We're going to cover how to make a good first impression and how to increase your chances of a great first date. So for more information, please check out allaboutbodylanguage.com.